Hi, Rich Toronto with TMC here. Thanks for watching. We're at IT Expo Fort Lauderdale 2016. On our program is Nikolai Yamakawa. He's with 451 Research. Nikolai, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you very much, Rick. Doing very good. Excellent, excellent. Um, tell me a little bit about your, your company. I mean, you've got research in the name, so that kind of tips us off. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, 451 Research, we are an IT analyst firm where we provide comprehensive IT market intelligence covering both uh, supply and demand sides. So we have our team of syndicated research analysts in addition to our voice of the enterprise family of products. And this is where I sit on. We focus specifically on the demand side. And effectively, we talk with enterprises, with end users to see what is going on in their environments as a part of our voice of the enterprise family of products. And we do this on a quarterly basis. We have online surveys in addition to one-on-one -on -one phone interviews. So effectively, we get narratives that sort of put more color on data points and really explain what's happening in their environments. And for all of this, we rely on our proprietary panel of mid to senior IT decision makers. And this panel is uh, growing and expanding. We currently have over 25,000 members. Uh, so this is certainly a very good opportunity for uh, if you're an end user to make your voice heard, to share what is happening um, in your environment. And we share all of those results with you. Um, all, those, uh, all that data is presented in aggregated fashion. Um, and this really allows us to sort of put lenses of different industries, lenses of different uh, company sizes, and look at the data through those lenses to understand what's happening there. Now, uh, what's your area of focus within the organization? I lead our voice of the enterprise servers and converged infrastructure study. So that's the main focus. And uh, in addition to that study, we have five others. And as I mentioned, all of them are conducted on a quarterly basis. But other ones are storage, information security, data centers, software-defined infrastructure. So those are the other studies that we have. So there's a, a lot going on there. What are some of the trends you're seeing across technology? Well, it's a very good question. But uh, there's a lot of things happening in each sector. But effectively, from servers and converged infrastructure perspective, certainly we are seeing commoditization of uh, x86 servers. Then, of course, there's been very large announcements of uh, you know, market consolidation in converged infrastructure space, and notably, of course, hyper-converged infrastructure. So newer vendors appearing on the market that certainly are getting enterprise attention. Some of them uh, also you know, uh, filing for IPOs, as we heard recently with Nutanix. Also, of course, large acquisitions, uh, Dell <laughs> and EMC, things like that. Um, and overall, I think competition is intensifying, but at the same time, that provides a lot more options for end users that you, they can choose from. Um, it requires a change of how people think about IT. The role of IT is changing as there is no more sort of siloed functions in converged infrastructure. And with that, certainly, um, comes a lot of organizational changes. Uh, so this is what we're seeing in the market right now. That's exciting stuff, right? Always, the IT market's always changing, it seems. Never Absolutely. standing still. Absolutely. And uh, of course, the cloud computing study that we're uh, doing also uh, on quarterly basis, that um, there's, there's a lot of things going there as well. Uh, you know, the cloud of 10 years ago, that's absolutely nothing what it is like today. Before it was all about infrastructure, but now we have a lot of value-added services that companies need. Security, which uh, many think is sort of a greatest hurdle to going to cloud. But at the same time, that could also be one of the main opportunities for providers to stand out, um, to do everything transparently, to show what security measures they have. So that's also a good way to differentiate for some of them. Now, should companies providers. be uh, thinking about hybrid before they go fully to the cloud? 
It really depends where you are in your journey to the cloud. Sometimes the journey to the cloud is indeed private, and after that you do uh, public cloud. Sometimes you need some of those bursting capabilities. So it really depends on your workloads, what you're comfortable with. A good way is, of course, to sometimes just understand your internal environment. What are the requirements in your industry verticals? What can you actually do? So these are the things I think that are very important, but indeed many people are implementing hybrid cloud. Um, but a lot of times, once again, it really depends on your workloads, on applications. That's what drives the business. Now, what else should the viewers out there know about uh, just technology, where things are heading, you know, before they make uh, decisions, purchasing decisions, decisions in 2016? What else should they be aware of? Well, I think that it's, it's a good question. I think that it's important to view vendors not just as um, someone you have contractual obligations with. You need to choose a partner. You need to choose a vendor that is willing your willing to hold your hand along the journey. So for example, someone that you know will be there uh, you know, to do those training activities, educational activities, not just after you deploy their product, but even prior to that. So you really need to choose a partner. And to do that, talk to them early on. See how they respond to your requests. Is that someone that you feel confident marching forward into this cloud world, uh, be it public cloud, be it private cloud, perhaps, you know, converge infrastructure world where you can sometimes streamline the journey to private cloud using some of those converge infrastructure offerings that combine, um, you know, storage, compute, and or uh, server virtualization along with other software. Um, so you can streamline your route to private cloud. But you need to have a vendor that is a partner rather than just someone you have contractual obligations with. Great advice. Now, uh, why do companies choose uh, 451 instead of other research companies out there? Like, what, what are, give me some of the differentiators. Well, uh, first of all, the panel that I've talked about that consists of 25,000 pre-screened uh, senior to IT professionals, that's unprecedented in the industry. Because what we do is that we have those deep dive conversations with those people. We provide those online surveys that you can not that you see not just the data points, but also you know you can really understand the rationale behind the choices that decision makers are uh, doing, what enterprises are doing. And of course, with that, we provide very rapid, relevant, and most importantly, predictive analysis. So effectively, we ask about spending. How is spending going? You know, where are enterprises planning to allocate their spending? What are different technologies they're looking at? Why are they not looking at different technologies? So you really can sort of uh, get into the mind of your customers to understand some of their thinking around those things. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here today. This was great. Thank you very much, Rich. Really enjoyed it.